Hi, I'm Doug Keck. This is an EWTN Bookmark Brief. Just had the pleasure of speaking with my friend Mike Aquilina about his book, Africa and the Early Church, The Almost Forgotten Roots of Catholic Christianity, published by Emmaus Road and available naturally through our EWTN religious catalog, EWTNRC.com. All things Catholic. Africa and the early church, it was almost forgotten. You remembered it. Why did you decide to remember? Because we are the spiritual descendants of African Christians of the first, second, third, fourth centuries. And I want people to know their heritage, mm -hmm. especially if you're a Roman Catholic, if you're a Latin Rite Catholic, a Western Catholic. Your roots are not so much in in Rome mm -hmm. <laughs> as in, as in, um, as in Africa, North mm -hmm. Africa, the province of North Africa, where so much of the great thought and writing of the early Christian period went on, mm -hmm. at least for Latin language, the great figures like Tertullian, Cyprian, Arnobius, Lactantius, Perpetua, Victor, mm -hmm. who was Pope in Rome. The, the influence was running not from Rome to Africa, but from Africa to Rome. Is, do you think some of that's lost in what you talk about in this book because of what happened w with basically Islam? Yes, because of the Arab invasions mm -hmm. in the 600s, the 700s, uh, and the and the 800s, we lost that territory. The church right. lost that territory. Sometime look at the Wikipedia list of titular sees, right. which are dead sees, places that used to have a diocese and don't anymore. And that's the, where the auxiliary bishops get named. For, that's right. right. Yeah. And and just recently, I saw that. Uh, three of the four auxiliary bishops named at this one ordination mm -hmm. got North African seas. Mm -hmm. So, so many of those dead seas are North African. We can see how Christianity once flourished there and doesn't now. Right. But we need to know what, what is it that they gave us, you know, because that's the way the influence was running in those years. It was Africa to Rome, not so much Rome to Africa. If somebody picks up this book, what's, what's the biggest takeaway you want for them? I want them to know that, that about these great Christian thinkers who were African. I want them to know the role that Africa played in the development of worldwide Christianity. If you look at Alexandria and Egypt, if you could look at the, the, the Latins in Carthage, mm -hmm. and if you look at Ethiopia, you have three very different kinds of Christianity, three very different Christian worlds, all of which endure to our own day, day and age, mm -hmm. and, 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 and really owe their identity to those distant, ancient right. roots. Well, you, you talk about an upside down version of Africa. I'm thinking today, here we are, the great losses in Northern Africa, but the incredible growth now in Sub-Saharan in sub Africa, sub yeah. at, at the church. I mean, it's, it's probably the large, the fastest growing place in the world, right, as far as Catholicism and Christianity in general, right? And we're incre increasingly dependent on them. It was an African, Tertullian, around 190 A.D., who said the blood of the martyrs is the seed of the church. Right. And we all agree that that's true. You know, it's one of those things that's been handed down as one of the truths of our faith. It's, it's, it's certainly true on right. the ground today. So right. we're dependent on the continent in so many ways for the graces that we have, yeah. as well as our intellectual heritage. And we're dependent on authors like yourself to write books, Africa and the Early Church, The Almost Forgotten right. Roots of Catholic Christianity, available through our EWTN religious catalog. Make sure you check that out, of course, at EWTNRC.com, and look for the entire interview coming soon on the network. But it's also going to be on our YouTube channel and also on our on-demand page. I'm Doug Keck. Thanks for stopping by.